I'm good. Did you find it okay? I did. Good. I'm Tori. I still have to get out and meet you. Oh, well, we're going to get started. I'm sorry. I'm in between meetings today, so I've been pretty busy, but I'll, I'll basically go through the basics. I'll tell you about the company. I'll ask you a few questions, and from there, if you have any questions for me, we'll get more in depth about the position itself, but I'll give you a high level of the company. And we'll okay. Um, my company, Enbridge, is uh, Canadian-owned. Mm -hmm. We have assets, and we're one of the largest pipeline companies in the, in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. We're owned by Canadians. We have three corporate offices. We have one in Houston, and we have about 600 people in this office. Mm -hmm. We have 11 floors on this elevator bank, and we're pretty high up, so I hope you're not scared of high up. <laughs> <Not at all. laughs> we do a lot of um, business with remote locations out in the field locations, and we do have some offshore assets uh, off the coast of Louisiana. We don't have any off the coast of Texas. Okay. okay? So that's kind of the gist of it. Just like any other company, we have all the different the various departments, accounting, legal, so on and so forth. Right. All right? Okay. So I ask you a few questions, and I always tell people there is no wrong answer. I just <laughs> want to see how you think about things and, and just go from there. All right, sounds good. So first of all, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I uh, just recently graduated from U of H with a uh, business degree. Mm -hmm. I've been working as a uh, production manager for the past uh, three and a half, four years at a uh, oil and gas company. Right. Yeah, so and I'm very enthusiastic about starting a new job. So. Good. Oh, yeah. That's good. At least you have some knowledge of the business. Yes. All right. So tell me, what are you looking for in a job? Um, I'm looking for something long term. I, I definitely want it to be a career, not a, you know, I don't plan on going through another interview in a year or so. Okay. So I want this to be something that sticks. Okay. Well, it's good that you brought up the uh, question of career because I'd like to know what would you like to accomplish in your career? Like, like what's your goals in the next two years? Um, definitely moving up. Uh, I, I don't see myself being stationary in the same position. Uh, okay. I want to work to, to improve and move up. Okay. All right, that's great. Um, well, we have a lot of state-of-the-art technology. A lot of companies do um, in the oil and gas industry. And I'd like to know, how well do you work with technological advancements? Um, very good. They're, I've taken uh, quite a few courses back at U of H, and it's also kind of a hobby of mine, uh, just taking that kind of stuff apart, putting it together, and seeing how it works kind of thing. So. All right, that's good. Um, can you, this is a two-part question. Okay. So what's the largest group of people that you've worked with, and how do you well work well with diverse group of people? Um, the largest group, actually, before, when I was still in college, I uh, was a coach, so 300 people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coaching can be very tough, huh? Yes. A lot uh, of there. Yes, so uh, I work well with large groups and diverse people, so it's uh, something I'm used to doing. All right, that's good. Question that I always ask people, um, what is your biggest weakness? I am very critical of myself. Um, I get frustrated with myself if I know I do something below par for me or if it's not the way I would expect it from someone else. It, it's very, I get very hard on myself about that kind of thing. That's good. That's a weakness, but that's a good weakness. Yes. I don't mind that one. And my golden question is, if I am an usually very busy person, I'm in and out of meetings, as I stated before, mm -hmm. and if I give you a task at 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to run to a meeting, and um, I give you the information, and it's two tasks that I need completed by noon, but I'm in the meeting all day, and you cannot complete either one of them, what would you do? Um, oh, I guess I would just, I'd have to do my best to get it done. I mean, mm -hmm. if, I can't, if I can't get to you, there's, I don't see any excuse why it shouldn't be done if you need it done. So I'm going to do what it takes to, to get the information and complete the task before you get back when you need it. All right. That works for me. Um, well, the position that you're applying for is for a accounting assistant three. There's a lot of back office. Our department is divided up into two different departments. It's run by one general manager and it's divided up by two supervisors. Mm -hmm. I am one of the leads in that department. Uh, it's about 30 people. That's why I asked about the large group. Yes. That's a lot of people to deal with, a lot of personalities. In any situation, there's always conflict. But, of course, that's with any situation. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, uh, we, we monitor 12 sets of accounting books or 12 sets of accounting systems. They do not talk to each other because so it can get pretty, uh, pretty hairy there and confusing. Mm -hmm. um, just like any company, we're business casual. Uh, I apologize for wearing jeans today. We're supporting United Way this month, um, so we can wear jeans the whole entire month of September. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we only usually wear jeans on on Fridays. Um, our work hours are anywhere from 6:30 in the morning to 8:30. We can come in for increments of uh, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, 
So if you come in at six thirty, you leave at three thirty. Okay. Um, so it's 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 pretty standard. Um, I just need someone to get in here, kind of fill in with the position. Right now, it's not really defined. We uh, just got the the budgets for the the position, and so right now we're just trying to get someone to fill in. And as the the role goes on and how you prove yourself, then we'll have more definition as to what your responsibilities are today. Okay. Today. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, do you see the company expanding within the next five years, or? Oh yes, um, the company has been expanding. I've been here about ten years, and the company has grown from uh, probably about eighty people to six hundred. Uh, we continuously grow. We're doing joint ventures with companies such as Chevron. A lot of offshore assets that we are purchasing, uh, drilling. Uh, we're laying pipe, uh, hundred fifty mile pipe up from the coast of, off the coast of Louisiana up to the coast to distribute throughout the U.S. as needed. Mm -hmm. So we are constantly. Um, uh, expanding the business and we're looking for people to help us grow. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm assuming that means you weren't hit very hard by the uh, economic downturn then? Or? No, we always say that we have a rich uncle in Canada. Uh, <laughs> we don't get hit by it too much. Yeah. Uh, and oil and gas is in such demand and it will be for at least the next 20 years as we, we go through the uh, process of trying to convert over to more um, efficient uh, resources. But right now it's just not in place. We need mm -hmm. oil, we need natural gas to heat homes. So it will be in place for at least 20 years, so the, the business is continuously to uh, thrive mm -hmm. as, as for now. And uh, assuming I do get this job, what are the prospects of moving along in the, in the company? Um, I can tell you that we are very um, big about uh, continuing education. Uh, we like to promote from within. Uh, we do like to bring in people that have qualities that can move along. Um, definitely, that is something that is very, very um, possible with you. It is, as long as you continue the process and that you prove yourself and that you are ambitious in your um, approach to the company, we will very happy to be to you know to, to accommodate you and to get you further and, and give you more uh, knowledge in the business. All right, thank you. All right. All right. Okay. I'm sorry, they want two pennies, wasn't it? Alright. You have a nice day.